Hi, Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be a money and career reading, and I am going to look at the remainder of the year. So I'm going to look at July through September and then October through December. This is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Please keep that in mind. A couple quick announcements and then I'll get right into it. I'm going to pin a comment down below as I always do and um, it's going to have a lot of information, um, links to my social media accounts if you want to follow me there, links to my website. Um, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, um, you can do that. Um, um, through my website and I often offer um, special pricing um, to those people who subscribe to my newsletter. Um, so that should give you incentive to sign up if you're at all interested. Uh, also, I have some specials going on for my YouTube viewers. Uh, my one hour spiritual guidance tarot sessions are 125 versus 175. And there is a code that you can use at checkout. It is gonna be in the con um, pinned comment down below. I'm also offering $100 off any of my coaching programs. If you want to find out more about my coaching and what I offer, you can go to my website to sign up for a complimentary discovery call and then ask all the questions that you have. Lastly, um, I did start a new YouTube channel. I only have a couple of videos up. It's called Authentically You Spiritual Life Coaching. There's going to be a link to that channel down below as well. I am sharing information that I use to help my coaching clients. We talk, um, I talk a little bit about how to raise your self-confidence, how to live more authentically, um, how to establish boundaries. And there's going to be a lot more content that I'm going to be adding, you guys. So if you're interested in that and it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. All right. So what is the energy as far as money and career for Leo. We've got the new moon in Pisces. So it's a new moon energy. And this says meditate and contemplate. And so what I'm feeling um, for many of you is you may be thinking of making a big change, okay? You might be thinking of making a career change. And so you're being asked to really contemplate on this. Go within, does this make sense? Are you moving in the right direction? Are you leaving just because you're unhappy or are you wanting to leave um, to go pursue your passion? So that's something to look at. Also, um, it is a, a message about contemplating, you know, how you um, view money, how you spend money. This is all up for review. Um, so very interesting way to start the reading. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, oh, we got two cards um, from the Energy Oracle deck. And this has to, um, this is going to be for the money portion, okay? And then we're going to look at the career portion. So for the money portion, we've got all tied up and we've got broken heart. Um, the broken heart would be like the three of swords. And that would represent a loss a sense of loss and disappointment. So what I'm feeling is that you, for many of you, your money situation isn't quite where you want it to be. And with this all tied up, this is you know very much um, like the Nine of Swords card. And so you could be really overthinking about your money situation. You want to increase your finances and you could be, like I said, could be wanting to make a change in career, um, but you could have a pretty cushy setup. And so you're not really sure if making a move is in your best interest right now. But um, I see that the money situation is heavily, heavily on your mind. So let's take a look at this and see what's going to be happening for you 
as far as money what is the energy around money for leo for july august and september let's look at july august and september what is the energy okay wow um so what i am seeing is that you can absolutely transform your money situation within the next two and a half three months you guys we're starting off with the five of pentacles this is the energy this is a poverty consciousness this is feeling like you don't have enough money um or you're scared that you're not going to have enough money but there's a real um lack consciousness when it comes to your money and this could stop you from making changes that are going to bring you a lot more happiness in career because if you think about it money can affect us in many different ways um it could you know maybe you're not spending money on going out and having fun or vacations or activities or something like that because you feel like you don't have enough and that really impacts your happiness so this is definitely something to look at however i've got really good news because we've got the death card and i love seeing this um you know, this is um, a Scorpio energy, all about the Phoenix rising. It's about a metamorphosis. It's a huge shift. There's an ending and a beginning. And so I feel like for some of you, um, you do have this poverty consciousness mindset. There are um, deep ingrained fears around money. You could have inherited those from your parents. You could have been conditioned that way. Um, it could be something that's ongoing within your lineage your ancestors may have had it um, but this can be transformed you guys I work with a lot of coaching clients who have a poverty consciousness and it can be healed absolutely so I do feel that there is going to be a major transformation in your money situation and it's really starting with um, your mindset and it all is really the beginning of it the start of it is paying attention keep a money journal write down every cent that you spend and see where your money goes and are you spending money on things that really make you happy are you spending money on things that you really need or want or are you just not paying attention to it um as that will bring you know you into a higher awareness about your money situation and the more we pay attention to something the more we focus on it the more it expands so i'm just sensing that um you can definitely see a big increase in your finances you can turn the situation around within the next three months and we're ending with this um four of wands card this is about stability and celebrations it's like a really solid foundation um so that looks really good you could make a lot of progress um like i said within the next three months on your money situation now let's look at september october and november Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands. This is amazing. Um, you know, there was a there was a reader that I used to watch, and she likened this energy to like a fire hose. Um, this is about moving forward. It's also about communication, but it's um, it's moving forward in a very fast way. Um, it's about travel. So this is coming in after the Four of Wands. So this would really be like the August energy. This would be the September energy. And so I do feel 
um, that if you put in the work, if you if you do the work, that this situation with your money, um, you're going to get control over it, and then it's just going to start um, building momentum. It's just going to expand. Uh, then we've got the justice card, and this to me is you know it represents decisions made in your favor absolutely this is a spiritual lesson so there's two major arcana that are coming through um with with regard to your money sector and so i do feel like for many of you you are learning lessons about money how to handle money how to pay attention to money how to invest money how to spend money um money 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 um and there is a karmic cycle that you've been going through um, in order to learn these lessons, but things are balancing out. Decisions are made in your favor as soon as you wake up and start paying attention to this. And you're gonna make progress, like great progress, fast, fast, fast progress. You're gonna get out of the cycle and into a new one. And then we're ending with the Queen of Wands in December. So this would be, um, November, this would be September, you guys. So it's just an amazing, beautiful progression from start to finish. Um, so I do feel that your money situation can be vastly improved by the end of the year. Um, you're going to feel a sense of accomplishment. You're going to feel um, much more inspired and you are going to feel much more confident in yourself, in your ability to manage your money and manage your life. So that's all really, really great news. Now, let's take a look at career. What do we need to know for Leo about career? So we've got a firm foundation and this is the four of wands. So this is stability. This is celebrations. Um, this is like that, that foundation. It's really interesting because you did get the four of wands coming in in the money sector as well, um, but I feel like it'll take a little bit of time to get there. So I stand by what came through earlier um, with respect to career that some of you may be looking to change your career situation, your job situation. Um, so if you receive a job offer, and we'll have to see what's coming through, through. Um, or if you decide to leave to start your own business, just make sure that you are prepared that um, you have a plan in place um, because I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of success that's coming to you, a lot of recognition that's coming to you with respect to career. Yeah, I do feel like you are going to take a leap of faith. Wow. We've got the full coming through. So this would really be like the July energy. Um, and with meditate and contemplate coming through, um, very much you could be thinking about a new beginning. You know, the, the full is about taking that leap of faith. It is the beginning. If we think about the major arcana in the tarot, it's all about the fool's journey and it begins with the fool. So yeah, many of you are thinking about taking a leap of faith starting something new um, and I, I feel like um, for many of you yes if if you really considered this and you have planned it out this is going to be a great move for you now we do have the ten of voices here and this is the ten of swords you guys so this is about betrayal like feeling like you can't even get up like you've got all those swords in the in your back it's um painful something very very painful happened I feel like this is a past energy um, and this past energy is going to 
spur you on um, to make this decision. But this would be like um, July, this would be like August. So I feel like, um, you know, you may make a decision in July to make a move and then there are some painful memories that come up and I feel like it just kind of seals the deal for you. Um, but it's going to be important to really release that energy so you're not holding on to it when you go into this new venture. And then we are moving into September with the Muse of Materials. This is the King of Pentacles, you guys. Um, this is about your arrival um you know this is um legacy building stuff and this is like you've made it to the land of um plenty and you know if you look at this woman um she's walking um, down this uh bridge into this beautiful place uh, of um, just abundance, a cornucopia. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so by the time uh, September arrives, I feel like you're going to be sitting pretty. Um, that's really what's coming through. Um, you are really moving into this place of self-mastery. You could... Um, with the money situation looking like it's um, progressing and you know the energy is really really gaining momentum um, by the time September comes around yeah it's like your career and money situation is really cemented like you just feel so good about everything all is well you're making progress you're exactly where you want to be interesting okay so we are getting um a lot of repeating messages um which is very very interesting so when october rolls around we've got the six of voices or the six of swords and um, this is about travel you could be traveling for your job you could be relocating for a job or a business um or you could be um uh, you know, working remotely and you just decide that you want to relocate. It doesn't impact your business or your role. Um, I know somebody who recently uh, moved to Portugal from San Francisco, a, an acquaintance of mine, and, you know, the move did not impact them whatsoever as far as work. So this could be something that you're considering, but more than anything else, I do feel, as I said, that you're moving beyond this um, feeling of being betrayed. Um, you're you're moving out of a place of pain when it comes to career, and you're transitioning into this place where there's just a lot of peace, a lot of stability, a lot of calm. Everything is just going as planned, better than planned. Um, the, it's not the roller coaster that it was. <clears throat> However, we do have the Four of Materials or the Four of Pentacles showing up. We already saw the Five of Pentacles showing up as far as money. And so there is this mindset that you're clinging on to something. So there's still um, some fear, I feel, that's coming up um, surrounding money or career. I don't feel that it's really going to have an impact on what's coming in for you um, immediately, but this is really something that I want you to look at because it is going to hold you back at some point, okay? You're moving into this really nice phase in career and money, and so it's time to really look at these belief systems, this conditioning once and for all, and then we are ending the year um, with the eight of wands and that came through in your money sector as well um this is amazing so i do feel that you will move beyond this energy of, of feeling like you have to really um conserve or hold on to things so this would be september um smooth sailing ahead then we get in, I'm sorry, no, that's October, excuse me, October. 
then we get into November and then December. The interesting thing is that um, when we look at August and then we look at um, November, these two cards came on top of each other. And these are the energies that you're wanting to work through to release these belief systems. And they are very, very much connected. Um, so again, that's something to really pay attention to. But with the eight of wands coming through <clears throat> at the end of the year, I really just feel like you're sitting pretty. Um, you're just gonna keep progressing. Things are gonna be going really well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't bring any water <clears throat> to the table and my voice is, is failing me. So um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, I hope that this helped you. Very, very positive reading, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, sending lots of love. Bye-bye.